much brilliant and my work in the show my from generation to generation is called working the glass house which is a series of images that i created at the late at the home of the artist um, the late artist arch gorky the gorky overall gorky project started with a conversation i had with a curator named Neri Melkonian, um, who had written an article talking about Arshil Gorky and how the Armenian kind of art hadn't moved on since then. Like they were still hanging on to Gorky as like the seminal Armenian and American Armenian artists. In order to illustrate the article, she wanted an image. So we, I created this sort of collage of Gorky masks and I wore one of them. And she acted as, a, as my mother and we recreated the, uh, the photo that the painting by Arshil Gorky, um, 1936, around 1936, the, the painting, the artist and his mother, um, which is kind of an iconic, very iconic um, painting for Armenians. In order to sort of kind of go back to the root of the painting, which was a photograph that um, the image was based on of him and his mother, which was before the genocide, of the Armenian genocide in 1915. And I, I really recognized the faces because it really looked like like relatives of mine and like being with them, you know, in their homes and kind of seeing these like sort of sad, you know, kind of, there's a weight that kind of Armenians of that generation carried with them, you know, in, in America too, you know, like just the way the, the genocide, the memory of the genocide was passed down I always see it as like it was like a physical memory. Like it was, it's not just you know, memory is not just in how we think about things, but it's how we carry our bodies. And it was sort of really in the way that um, a lot of my relatives, my grandmother's generation, carried themselves. And and so I was kind of interested in going back to that photograph and making a mask of the painted photograph. So you have sort of before the genocide and after the genocide represented. My boyfriend at the time. Aaron, who was also a dancer, was just randomly doing research on this choreographer named Martha Clark. And he found that she lived in the house that used to belong to Arshad Gorky. We thought, well, maybe we could do something based around Gorky's house, since the project was sort of about displacement and memory and kind of reuniting, kind of past and present. So there's a very famous photograph um, from Life magazine that was published, I think in the winter, it was published in the winter of 1947. It's a photograph of Gorky from behind, looking out these windows, very like, a, you know, a tall um, wall of windows. And in, in, in kind of looking out to the snow. So that was sort of the image that I kind of was basing the whole kind of look of the piece around. The, the, the center four windows are kind of make up a recreation of that photo. Um, and then sort of everything else around it, all the other, so I based a lot of the other images around photographs I'd seen of Gorky dancing, kind of pictures of him just kind of looking kind of forlorn. Um, you know, I was very much interested in the fact that he had, you know, killed himself at this house. That's sort of the place where his life ended. You know, he had kind of been through a pretty arduous journey you know, from Armenia, going through the genocide to America, and then kind of dealing with a lot of illness, you know, mental illness, you know, his physical health. Yeah, so the, the, that one photograph that really moved me about it was the way he was staring out the window. You know, it was very much sort of, you, you sense this feeling of separation from him, and the photographer, and him, and the outside. Um, it's kind of what I call like an in-between photo. He's not really... He doesn't really belong to us as a viewer. He doesn't really belong to the house or the outside. He's sort of kind of in between. And that's kind of the idea that I kind of began to explore in the house. I've had that experience growing up in America, but all my life being told I'm Armenian and it's important for me to be Armenian. But then not, so not feeling fully American here and then not feeling fully Armenian in Armenia, kind of somewhere in between.